Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 10.14 diagrams. 10.1 represents Chapter 10, Section 1 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Applied Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Newton's first law states that every object will remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to change its state by the action of an external force. Newton's second law states that F is equal to MA. F represents the resultant force measured in Newtons. M represents the mass measured in kilograms. A represents the acceleration measured in meters per second per second. Newton's third law states that for every action in nature, there's an equal and opposite reaction. In this chapter, we will be resolving forces horizontally and vertically. Let's have a look at this important notation. This represents resolving forces vertically, taking up to be the positive direction. Moving on to this notation over here. This represents resolving forces horizontally, taking right to be the positive direction. If a particle is in equilibrium, this means that the particle is at rest. The resultant force F acting on the particle is therefore equal to zero. The weight W is defined as W is equal to M multiplied by G. M represents the mass, G represents the acceleration due to gravity, and G is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. Ladies and gents, let's have a look at this force diagram. Okay, so what we have here is a rough surface. The particle is in contact with the rough surface. The rough surface exerts a normal reaction R acting vertically upwards. The weight acts vertically downwards given by mg. A is the applied force acting to the right. Because we have a rough surface, we have a resistive force acting to the left and we call this friction. These are the key facts of 10.1 force diagrams. I'll be implementing these key facts within this exam style question. Let's have a look at this exam style question. The diagram shows a particle acted on by a set of forces. Given that the particle is at rest, find the value of P and the value of Q. Firstly, we know that the particle is at rest. So I can write down, particle is at rest. This implies that the resultant force horizontally or vertically is equal to zero. So I can write F is equal zero. Now to work out P, I'm going to resolve horizontally because P acts horizontally. Resolve horizontally, taking right to be the positive direction. We know that horizontally, the resultant force F is equal to zero. So what is the F? Ladies and gents, the F is P minus 50. 50 acts to the left, so it's minus 50. We have that F is P minus 50. This must equal zero. Hence, P is equal 50 newtons. Now I'm going to work out the value of Q. To find the value of Q, I need to resolve vertically because Q acts vertically. So resolve vertically, taking up to be the positive direction. The resultant force F vertically is also equal to zero because the particle is at rest. Okay, so now what is the F? Well, F will be 5Q acting upwards. Take away 3P acting downwards. Take away Q plus 10 acting downwards. So I can put Q plus 10 in brackets. So that represents the F in the equation. This has to equal zero. So I've got 5Q minus 3P minus Q minus 10 equal zero. 5Q minus Q is 4Q. So 4Q minus 3P minus 10 is equal zero. I know that P is equal to 50, so I can substitute P equal 50 into here. I've got 4Q minus 3 lots of 50 minus 10 equal to 0. So 4Q minus 160 is equal to 0. 4Q is equal to 160. So Q is equal to 160 divided by 4, which is 40 newtons. That there, ladies and gents, completes the exam style question and this teaching video 10.1 force diagrams. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.